Hey, good morning and welcome back to the channel. You're going to wonder why am I stopped on the side of the road? Uh, this is why. You know, people don't realize is how big these mosaic cranes are that do the strip mining. I mean, look at the size of these monsters. I mean, I, I know the GoPro camera doesn't do it justice. And I really can't zoom in because I can't get my finger between the camera and the helmet. But uh, I just thought I'd uh, show you these things and just how massively huge they are. I mean, they're gargantuan. You know, you think for a state like Florida, what's going on up here, you know? So, uh, let me get myself out of here. I'll continue on my way and I'll fill you in on where I am going. Where I am going, I am going to I am going up to the villages to visit some old acquaintances and a new acquaintance and we'll do fellowship and whatnot. And I was trying to stretch my gas out as far as I possibly could and uh, that little ripper right there didn't do it, uh, did my fuel economy any good. But anyways, I still got 80 some more miles I can go to empty and I'll have to fill up around 60. But I should be alright. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, I thought that would be a good way to open up this video. Um, show you those big giant cranes that Mosaic used to do the you know, strip the land, rape the land of its uh, minerals. That's what we'll call it, land raping. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I hope that truck driver ain't too pissed off at me for pulling out in front of him, but I felt as though there was plenty of room. So, anywho, that's it. Uh, I was going to rip it up the interstate and, uh, not have to leave 45 minutes early, but in true Tampa Bay traffic fashion, I checked out Google Maps and Google Traffic and one direct, two wrecks, three wrecks, four. How many more wrecks could we have before I uh, decided to bail at the nearest exit and say, sorry guys, I went home. Nope. I had a workaround, I could take the back roads, and I left on. I left, and my arrival time is now uh, 1.55, more or less. And I'm supposed to meet at noontime for lunch. So I'm golden. So, why don't you, oh, how about a big thumbs up for this video? Like, subscribe, just, yeah, spit it out, grumpy old man. Like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So you know when I drop a new video, I know I've been slacking in that department. But anywho, that's that. Um, yeah, stick around and we'll see what happens. Um, I'll show you around the villages a little bit as I, I drive to my destination. That's, um, villages is quite a place. They have their own roads, underpasses, and overpasses for golf carts. Very interesting. Okay, so you folks stand by and um, I'll be checking in. Hey, welcome back. Um, I figured I'd bring you back in. I had a stop for gas and um, not that I was running low. I just didn't want to have to stop in a more congested area. So it was a nice little country gas station I stopped at. But anyways, I decided to take a little bit of a different route. Um, Google and Garmin GPS's, there I run both side by side. Um, both showed an alternate route and it cut off like 11 minutes. So I said, why not? Why not? 11 minutes is 11 minutes. So uh, this is the old Lakeland Highway that I'm on. Yeah, it's in dire need of repaving in many spots and uh, a lot of nice country, a lot of nice open fields. Got the train tracks running over here beside me. I uh, I drove by, I want to say, a good three and a half, four miles of uh, tanker cars. I would have turned the camera on, but traffic was heavy, and I really didn't want to be fiddling around with a, you know, a 
camera button even though I only have to touch it for a second to make it turn on I just did not want to do it and of course in true Florida fashion traffic construction why not so I'll be going about another mile-ish or so and um, I'll be turning on to Highway 301 and for those of you brave followers that follow me all the time you'll know that I live off of Highway 301 and you'll say well why didn't I take Highway 301 all the way well, I didn't take Highway 301 all the way because uh, from my house up to Waimuma is pretty good. But once you get to the Walmart in Waimuma all the way up to the other side of Tampa, it's just red lights every uh, couple of hundred yards. So that kind of sucks. I do not want to go to 75, I want to go this way. Oh, there's a train. A lot of trains here in Florida. A lot of real cars here in Florida. Yep. Hmm. Ah, so I don't have to turn on 301 it just runs turns into 301 which is good so yeah I figured to myself I said self why go through the green swamp twice because I'm going to go through the green swamp on the way home, which is a really nice ride. Um, like I said, those of you that follow me know that I have been on that road before. And it is really nice because it, um, oh geez, I want to say it's close to 20 something miles and no red lights, no nothing. And we are currently in Dade City. How do I know that? Because the water tower says Dade City. All right. Um, that's enough of that. When I get closer, or uh, when I get into the villages of Florida, I will uh, bring you back in and I will uh, show you a little bit of the villages. It's just a massive, and I do mean massive, housing community. You got All right, so one thing I never remember about the villages when I came up here some time ago is um, everything's equal. They have the equal number of housing to golf courses to shopping centers to whatever. Every, everything's more or less equal. So I am um, three miles away from my destination. Uh, one thing every biker hates, we hate rotaries because nobody knows where they're going in them. Yeah. Oh, there we go. See, nobody knows. Yeah, hate rotaries. Got another one in six tenths of a mile. Those are roofs some houses, bushes, trees, grass, houses, golf carts. Golf carts have their own roadway because it's the only, it's the best and fastest way to get around up here in the villages. Seriously, if you if you get the villages brochure, um, it, it states right in there someplace that going any place is uh, fastest by golf cart. Unless, of course, you're going to Maine or 
Canada or some place, but who the hell would want to go to Canada? Because the Canadians come down here. So, what's that tell you? Rotaries. I can't believe you people have stayed here this long. I have a big old bug splattered right in my line of vision. That's always nice. Yeah, they have uh, more golf courses up here than I don't know what. That's a good thing though, because if there's a golf course, nobody's going to build a house in the middle of it we've got about a mile about a mile and a half to go mile and three quarters I'll be at my destination and then we'll see what kind of nonsense we can get into at four minutes you people want to hang out for four minutes you can fast forward it's too much traffic for me to shut the camera down unless it shuts off for being overheating <laughs> GoPro cameras are known to do that they just shut off at random times although I've never had that happen my GoPro shut off because it overheated so must have to have it on for an extremely long time for it to shut off I know one thing I am going to complain about is this clutch they said the hydraulic clutch is easier to pull I don't think so and you know the other day I pulled the I pulled in the clutch on a uh, newer cable driven clutch and man that thing was like butter. My thing is like one of those freaking hand exercises for you know the Hulk. This thing is brutal. It'll give you tendonitis. Yeah, where am I going? Second exit again. the rotaries are a lot better than having um, red lights at least they do keep the traffic moving but not when there's an absolute boatload of traffic nobody can get out like we got going back in my county they got one rotary and I mentioned this before the cars freight train in the morning and people will sit there for 10 minutes before they get out tenths of a mile and I gotta turn lefty once again I thank you folks for hanging out um, this video won't end yet I mean there's more what else is new Yep, good. Get in the far left and take a right to block anybody that wants to scoop by you. Ah, I see Cody's. Woohoo!
These are three-way speakers. Yeah. Um, actually, All right, uh, this is the inside of Brad's van, otherwise known as a uh, flaming suit. Yeah, I really don't want to get dinged by YouTube, so I'll only play a few seconds of it. Look at that sailing. Nice. Nice setup, Brad.